and let's pray dear god i thank you for this precious day in our life dear god i thank you for keeping us safe and sound god lead us and guide us give us peace and joy thank you god okay students myself neeti chandramauli kaila from pantnagar english municipal school i would like to welcome you all from on behalf of brihan mumbai municipal corporation who has given this opportunity for me to teach you an online lesson and students please i request you all to join the session and uh, learn from this online teachings every day and subscribe the channel too so today students we are going to study subject evs for english medium standard 3 our topic is our diet okay let's start so before starting i want you take you to some to one of your friends house and his name is raju come let's meet him students this is raju's family and raju's house okay this is raju's house so let me introduce who is raju yes he is raju and this is raju's house he is raju's daddy father she is raju's mother raju to have a small tai okay she is raju's sister and here is raju's grandpa and grandma okay these are all about raju's family they are the members of raju's family do you know one day what happened one day suddenly Raju got sick. Okay, he got sick, and he was telling, "Mama, Mama, I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling well." Then Mama said, "Raju, you are running temperature. You are not keeping well, Raju. You take rest." Then Raju's mother gave Raju a soft little. curd rice and it is also known as dahi bath okay so raju's mother feed him with the dahi bath then it was a meal time and raju's father came from office and raju's father said where is raju he is always the first to have the meal on the table where is raju then mother said raju is running temperature and he is not well okay so i gave him soft curd rice and he is resting now okay then father said okay okay then let we start our meal then mother then tai said yes yes i'm very hungry today we had a langdi race in our school okay they had a 
langdi race in their school and tai said mama i'm very hungry i need food to eat now so mother said come let's have food so mother feed mother gave food to everyone as well as tai also then as tai saw raju sister saw the plate and she said mama i don't like to eat this food this bhaji you know na i don't like mama why you made this bhaji cabbage bhaji then raju's mother said you should never tell like this whatever is served on your plate you should eat it then grandpa told in our days we used to eat much food my dear child then tai noticed that father took only one roti one bhakri then tai said father papa why you had why you having only one bhakri you are not hungry see i am so much hungry then father said yes child i am not so hungry so grandpa told my dear child father is doing the work on his desk so he is not so hungry he will have only one bhakri okay then grandpa said in our time we used to have a uh, four bakris in one meal and we used to eat a lot but now i have grown old so i and grandma we both eat little and soft food then mother said mummy please come i have uh, soaked the bakri for you in dal so mother she told to grandma that i have soaked the bhakri in dal and please have it okay student this was all about raju's family you understood okay now i want to ask you some questions can you tell me students that why did mother gave raju soft curd rice why did mother gave raju soft curd rice students yes why mother gave raju soft curd rice yes because raju was sick he was not feeling well he was running temperature so when we are sick that time we should eat soft food okay and students tell me why uh, tai was so much hungry and why to, uh, why she was so much hungry students can anyone tell okay because today on that day tai in tai school tai played a langdi race so tai was so much hungry okay so tai told i want more bakris isn't it okay my next question students why father had only one bakri why father had only one bakri can anyone tell me yes father had one bakri because he was doing the desk work table work he was not doing much physical work okay students okay can you tell me one more thing why grandma and grandpa were having a uh, soft and little food why grandpa and grandma grandpa and grandma they both were having soft little food why yes because they are old they can't digest the food easily and so they eat soft food 
okay students that was all about raju's family and you have noticed one thing in raju's family everybody's food intake was different isn't it the food intake was different in raju's family and they are having different different diet what is this diet student come let's study more about diet okay now i will share you some i will share you screen okay so wait and watch so students yeah so you all may be thinking that in raju's family everybody were having different different diet now what is this diet yes you all may be thinking what is this diet students diet means we eat some food preparation as a part of our meals every day we different different food na you can see on this picture yes dal rice bhaji chapati salad pickle yes so these are all different preparations of food and we have in our meal every day we also eat some snacks between meal time isn't it we eat some snacks like biscuit we eat some pakoras and in, in between meal time yes beside we might also have milk tea coffee or sherbat all that we eat or drink during the day together called diet isn't it student so the food which we eat all throughout the day from morning till night morning noon snacks then evening snacks then night whatever the preparation mother cook at home and we eat that is called diet okay students let's go to the next students why does our food intake differ on different days yes sometime we feel very hungry and we eat lot mm -hmm. we eat like that isn't it and we eat a lot and that day our food intake is more the day when we eat uh, we are very much hungry and we eat a lot and that day students our intake is more so and sometimes are some other times or some other day we do not feel so hungry and we eat very little that day our food intake is less isn't it students so that is why our food intake differ on different days it depends on how hunger we are okay students students can you tell me which of these two is likely to have a bigger intake you can see here the two picture of 
two women one is the mother and one is the grandma okay what could be the reason for that uh, for having a different intake of food students now see here there's a mother mother the woman is young the mother is young so she eats more why her intake is also bigger why as she needs energy to do the all the household chores isn't it your mother also do na she do all the household work she also helps you in your studies so she needs bigger intake of food now can you see here in this picture grandma grandma she is old so her intake is limited as she don't have much physical work so grandpa grandma she is not having much physical work yes students they are very they have grown old so how they will do na such so much work so they sit at one place and they guide us isn't it and so that that so they uh, intake of food is also limited and uh, they can't digest the food easily that's why here you can see the intake of two persons are different mother intake of food is different and grandma's intake of food is different oh students do you know that there are certain kinds of work such as sedentary work and physical work okay here you can see the picture of two two pictures one is sedentary work and second is the physical work in the first picture you can see the man is sitting on the table and he is doing the work on the desk isn't it and on the second picture you can see the man is carrying a sack on his sack bag on his head he is using his hands he is using his legs all his strength is using okay now what is sedentary work let us know yes sedentary work means some kinds of work students can be done sitting at one place yes as you are doing sitting at one place and doing your online lectures doing your online studies yes the said such work is also known as sedentary work it does not take hard physical effort to do it such work is called sedentary work people who do sedentary work do not feel as hungry those who do physical labor students the person who is doing physical work who is using his hands his full strength his full body is working together so that person will need more food and the person who is sitting on the one place sitting at one place and doing the work on the desk or the table so is not doing much physical effort much physical work so so that work is called sedentary work and even their intake of food is also less students physical work here let's see physical work it's not only that man is carrying the sack bag even the uh, the works which are, um, are mobbing uh, mobbing the house cleaning the house your washing utensils yes wash uh, uh, all the household works or whatever the physical works which we do okay the diet of the people doing physical labor is greater when the people who is doing the work who is doing the constructions of building those are constructing the building you have seen no laborers are construct uh, they are constructing the building so their diet is more their food intake is more students and as well as the course like 
carrying water, washing clothes, sweeping, mopping the floor involve all physical work. This is all our physical work. Okay, those who do such work feel more hungry. They feel more hungry. Whether it is a man or a woman who does this course necessary, it is necessary that he or she gets enough food. Okay, students? So, now you understood what is sedentary work and what is physical work. How, what are the intake of sedentary work people and what is the intake of physical work people? Yes. Let's move further. Oh, here you can see the variety of food, isn't it? Students, we eat a lot or a little depending on how hungry we are, isn't it? We sometimes eat a lot, we sometimes eat less. It depends on how hungry we are. That is, our hunger determines how much we eat. You can see here in this picture, in the picture, the family, every grandpa, grandma, mother, father, brother, sister. So they, everybody's intake is different. Everybody's intake of food is different depend on their hunger, isn't it? Here, we are thinking about the amount of food we eat. But students, we also need to consider which food items we eat. Which food items we eat, we also need to consider. Different people include different food items in their diet. What could be the reason for that, students? If only certain combination of dishes is prepared every day, then we have to eat the same food all the time. If same food is prepared all the time, isn't it very boring, students? Can we eat the same food every day? No, it is very boring. So we need to have different, different variety of food, isn't it? And that too also depends on our hunger. Okay, students, do you know that our intake of, uh, intake of food also depend according to the region, isn't it? In the regions, here you can see the picture of rice. Yes, rice, you know, in some regions where rice is grown in plenty, so Rice becomes the major part of the diet of the people living there. So the people though, eat more rice. They eat plenty of rice. They made what they made the prepare whatever the preparation of the meal or food will be there. They are likely to have much of rice. They made much of the whatever the preparation to do. They do they do of rice because they grow. Because in their region, the rice is grown in plenty. In the same way, students, in some regions where Jawar, Bajra, okay. So in some other regions also where Jawar and Bajra are the major crops. So the people include more bhakris in their meal. So the region where Jawar is grown more, Bajra is grown more. So people have more bakris and uh, in their meal. So in this way, students, the according to the region also, where rice is grown more, so people eat, in that region, people eat more rice, where in the regions where jawar and bajra grow more, so people in that region eat more bakris made of jawar and bajra. Students, in certain region, wheat is also the major crop. So people in those regions eat more chapatis. Where the wheat is grown more, so wheat becomes the major crop. And people also eat uh, more chapatis. And here you can see the fisherman. Okay, fisherman. So the region 
where fish is available in plenty in sea have a lot of fish in their diet okay the regions where we get plenty of fishes now and the people those who stay near the coastal areas okay so they in their diet they have lots of uh, fish they have lot of fish in their diet therefore the people in the konkan have lot of fish in their meals okay students <clears throat> so they have lot of fish so students our diet also depend on the region where we stay the region where uh, we stay if there are the uh, if it grow the crop grows more of rice or wheat jowar bajra or fish so that that food in that food or that meal is intake more in their diet okay students now students we too uh we too eat vegetables and fruits we all love fruits and vegetables isn't it and vegetable our diet also depend on according to the season also students do you know some vegetables we get in some season only or some fruits we get in some season only so depending on the season we get different vegetables and fruits you can see here the picture of fruits and vegetables okay we get different vegetables and fruits at different times of the year accordingly the food diet also change isn't it students first we study that our diet depends on how hunger we are secondly we learn that our diet depends on a region now we have studied about our diet our intake of food depends upon a season too okay so in which season in winter season which vegetables are available are grown plenty that vegetables are uh, will be in our meal in rainy season the vegetables or fruits which are grown more so that vegetables and fruits we take we intake more in our diet isn't it, students yes yes that's true students some uh, dishes we prepare during the festivals isn't it some special food mother prepare when it is festival you are very eager today mama is going to prepare something delicious today is a festival so since in on that day you feel very excited and even you feel more hunger because something different food is going to get prepared at your home and here you can see the yummy sweets yes when there is a ceremony a special ceremony or special uh, festivals are there or special programs are there in our home so special so special dishes are prepared isn't student and we take sweets especially when we celebrate the festivals so students i repeat again our diet intake of food depends on how hungry we are how Uh, depends on the region depends on the season and also when it when there is a special movement or special ceremonies are there festivals are there so our intake of food our diet also changes so that was all students about the diet now students according to that intake of food we should also should take care of what we eat we should also take care what we eat okay students we if we wish to be healthy yes you all wants to be healthy strong yes or no so if you want to be healthy strong then we must take care about our diet so we should eat all the dishes made at home we should not skip any food as we saw in raju's family how tai said that mama i don't like this cabbage bhaji 
this thing also happen in your home i know i know so you should never say no to any you should never say no whatever the food is prepared on your table or on your plate you should eat it okay we must not avoid eating things merrily because we don't like them okay students so we should eat whatever the food is prepared at home we should never skip the any food okay and students here we can see the picture of sprouted pulses you know sprouted pulses are very good and rich in proteins okay sprouted pulses and leafy vegetables okay we should include the sprouted pulses in our uh, diet okay uh, i we should have the sprouted pulses we should have the vegetables green leafy vegetables methi palak then chauli all these are the green leafy vegetables are very good it uh, it contains lots of vitamins minerals proteins everything we should include sprouted pulses vegetables and leafy vegetables in our diet so along with that students we should never forget to have yogurt okay and buttermilk occasionally we should have yogurt and buttermilk also in our diet okay hmm yes yes yummy it is looking very yummy okay and you may be thinking it may be a carving in your brain in your mind wow what a tasty yummy food but students i would like to tell you that these foods are very attractive these foods be very tasty okay they are wrapped in a nice attractive wrappers but students we should avoid eating junk foods okay they they will fill your stomach they will fill your stomach this foods junk foods will fill your stomach but it is not good for your health you must be seeing in newspapers also tv frequently they advertise of cold drinks or different food products they tempt us lot to buy burger pizza and all yes these are okay sometimes it's okay but not every time these are not a good food they are called junk foods okay and we should avoid eating it okay students let's see the next now students let us do a revision a quick revision what we have learned today okay students all that we eat and drink in a day is together called diet isn't it we in morning what we eat then noon time then evening snacks then night what we whatever the food we eat or drink that is called diet okay age physical labor and the state of health cause diet to different from differ from person to person as we studied in rajus has we came uh, we know uh, we have know the we, uh, we have seen that in rajus family that grandpa is having uh, his intake of food is different and we saw the physical uh, then uh, physical labor people those who do much physical work their intake of food is different and according to the state of health when our health is not good when we are not keeping well then we should eat very light food and soft food so our diet also differ from students from person to person okay diet also changes according to the food items available in different season has we study student that vegetables mm -hmm. and the fruits which we get in different season so our intake of food also becomes different our food we eat our in our meals the intake of food and the preparation of all food also becomes different according to the season okay students the food stuffs readily available in different regions are different 
as we studied the regions where jowar bajra rice okay and where we get plenty of fishes in that area in that area region people the intake of their food becomes the whatever the major crop is grown in their areas in their region okay then la second last eating a variety of food stuffs in our diet helps to meet all the food related needs needs of our body students we should eat variety of food stuffs okay we should always include salads yogurt the buttermilk vegetables green leafy vegetables then colorful vegetables okay and we should have a variety of foods in our diet then only you will become strong okay students attractive and tasty food products i repeat students attractive and tasty fruit fruit products that see in advertise that we see in advertisement may not be necessarily good for your health okay the food seems very attractive they are called very tasty but they are junk foods we should not eat much junk foods and they are not good for our health okay now students that was all about the today's our uh, diet lesson now i want to ask you some few questions okay so classify the different i will show you some pictures here so you have to classify the different kinds of work given in the list below as as a sedentary work and physical work okay students so you have to classify whether it is a sedentary work or a physical work okay so come on oh here you can see the picture of children are playing kho kho okay they are playing kho kho so students can you tell me uh, what kind of work they are doing physical work or sedentary work can anyone answer me students students <clears throat> okay yes they are running they are not at one place so it is called a sedentary work uh, sorry it uh, it is called a physical work sorry student they are doing the physical work okay here you can see in the first picture a girl is riding a cycle yes so what kind of work she is doing is she is doing a sedentary work or physical work yes riding a cycle means she is using all her strength yes her arms legs all are moving okay so she is doing the physical work now look at the second picture girl is sitting and reading the book she is at she is sitting at one place isn't it she is sitting at one place and she is reading the book so what does it mean what kind of work she is doing students she is doing a sedentary work it classifies the sedentary work okay here you can see the boy is doing the mobbing okay he is cleaning so this is which kind of work students sedentary or physical yes it's a physical work let's move to the next oh here you can see my goodness the man is climbing the mountain okay he is using all his strength to climb the mountain with his hands legs with all his strength isn't it student so which kind of work he is doing physical or uh, uh, sedentary work yes he is doing physical work and here in the next picture can you see the girl is drawing a picture she is sitting at one place and she is drawing the picture so she is doing sedentary work 
Oh, here you can see in both the picture. The man is carrying the sack on his head, on his back. And here you can see the uh, father, kids, they are cleaning. Okay, they are cleaning the garden. Okay. So here, which, uh, what kind of work they are doing, students? They are doing physical work. They are doing physical work. Okay. So students, I want also want to make you something understand during this pandemic period. The food for kids to improve and fight from COVID. Okay. This is very important, students. Here are some food. You can see the uh, citric foods. Uh, you should have a lot of citric which contains a lot of vitamin C. Okay, lemon, oranges, that food you should eat which contains lots of vitamin C. That food you should eat during this pandemic period to fight with the COVID. Okay, red bell pepper, broccoli, garlic, ginger, then spinach, yogurt, almonds, and green tea so and lots of fruits see you can see the picture of fruits so in this pandemic period students you do take care of your health you should eat all these food items to fight with the covid okay so students now i want you to give you some small activity okay so in this small activity, what you have to do, you know, you have to find out how to sprout pulses. Your mother, you have, you must have seen your mother is making pulse, sprouted pulses, bhaji. But do you ever saw how it gets sprout? So I'm giving you one activity, it is today's assignment. Okay, it is your today's assignment student. So you have to watch how how the sprouts uh, how how to sprout the pulses such as moon matki broad beans it is also called as wal or chauli and after once it gets sprouts properly then make a yummy bale for your family and have and cherish it okay students okay Okay, students, I hope you all must have enjoyed today's lesson. Isn't it? You enjoyed today's lesson and you will definitely, you will take care of your food. Yes or no? What food you are eating? You should eat lots of vegetables, fruits. Okay. And do not forget to make the yummy bail for your family. It, isn't it? And even watch how to sprout the pulses. Okay, students? Bye-bye. Have a great day. Thank you, students. And keep watching online lectures every day. Have a great day. Thank you all.